Golden and Bulolo with whatever we do. Johnny Safu no la with whatever we do. Halay the moon is cool. Nepam ne could look cool. Nepangi ragala gay na nepam ne could look cool. Ibulo can no more toni betty sola. Ibulo can that toni beto. Bingy! Bingy come. Lamin! No? Lamin, did you know in ten yam and lamin? Come on, look on. Look on any time or lamin. Pabilinki. Munagata, a family. A hina. Gata, gata. Gato, gruzi. Gato, le. Fabrama. Mingi. Babanyole. No, not only Faburama. No, you want to come on it and Faburama. You want to tell me about it, Musso. Ludaman, 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 Anu sante ministry ko di ngole si suoko na amake ko to holiday la si bitu si bitu si bitu si bitu ko na di bago na ringa si bitu ala ni nyaba ala ni ko kede na mo balo ala ni na ko sa ina karta bulo be damala ni je ko to nam ko to mon contente feren 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 dama ni mune keda ifi ke la mi ki wulo ko no nyin tay mon ko to fe de malo la ni nyen de sila la be la moy kala karango dama ni karam wol be soron ni na ko fasi ta wulo ko no ko a a karam wol ma soron ni ko karam wol soron da amake ko mo holiday la ko to Dini wo yanta sila la ala karango la moya men kaben fue man contande man contana ndamande ala nyin combo courant ala ndala combo la ndola jan karam wol le soro ndoro kaben courant ma raro le combo e ko ndol fana na karam wol soro nyi karam wol soro la min ndara lo nyi no la man ndara fe na so kono ala mu nekela am la min i je foy de malon ko le sinol be ke ka radio to nga fay ne nga fay e ko yi ndari mo la min nga fay nga fay ye mu na fay ne ka ben mina ka ndemita ndemita Fatu. Ha. Then we did a sugar. I didn't know what baby be la moika. Ah, Fatu dance. I'm going to tell me that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. Ah. You're in Subala. Ah. So, I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. But I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. Ah. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Subala. I'm going to tell you that you're in Pari nyarande kombo kurang ho fin dira kombo ide nara yede ni sonka bay ko la mi manya tala wulo ko aru kara mo be sonda afanya membe ka ko to wala ni ati ba ho ngalle ni lamin kuntal kombo kurang ho e ka fo me kombo kurang aso total aso total wala ki ne ko e si suo ko no bari ni ko e si suo ko no be e be kara ngol di ke la radio ni telel to ani tele ma soto to nya man tele soto da bo bari radio be bulen ko to batiri sa nga ai si ai ari mo sa do ko la nya ko to taro bulaj abe ko la nya di Kamun kenyadi. Arajo abo la mo la ibe mo na falaje. Ibe la karandiro la kalajele. Tisha la berajo kwa mwenye karandiro. Ah, ila subjecto la baby jele. I baby jele. Wala nanga chuo chuo mo. Fadhan sio wali ya. Ungo mbeta mbeka nanga dini wali ibe ika dumbu kwa 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 La min yanta kara na ntel beji ko be nyine ka ya bula ya kara wulo kana ta kilar ya bambalo yo be bula je ko to dindi ngoy si ayala ayala le sino la moy radio wala ka munda kara mo mon soro la min yanta kara si suka be ko la min yanta sila ayala le sino ndani ko ko na ko smo lo kilar ya be bin ko ko mo mo sa yimbe do ni ko ro kara ndengi brose ndo ko ro la la da barro sa no re do no re wo ro radio ni abe je le bo ngam ro do man ndembe buljan da la nyara nyara ro ro ko fendi mo la la min tay ra barro sa ra te ku folo aji be no ri nyala bi tambe te Teku, 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 teku. Barangko do farmo ke? Eja, imagine, nanya nyambul. Ha? Sizol nak kerja, kisah kisah mana sizol? No, 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 le kafung kafung kan nyawa. Barang nyambul kiri ni mana nak kafin? Ini nampak korosor lagi. Ini nampak korosor lagi. Angal ni limpet ada banyak nyambul do di lana. Nyara ni bukori limpet nat. Nyara nat, nyara nat. Ha? Barang farmo ke dah? Eh, nara bungkon, tapi bungkon. Kami bungkor, kami bungkor. Jalan gantung kau file. Kau tak kira barang anda ni pelol lagi tak? Iya, ada terlalu banyak bungkor. Bismillah. 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 Ye fungo tangka si nado lu tangka. Koro, koro, koro ta. Koro, koro.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abdullahi Jawara. I'm here to present lesson three on parts of speech as a continuation of our English lessons for grade four, five, and six. But before we start, we need to have a recap of the homework that you were giving from the previous lesson. And that's on types of nouns, common and proper nouns. The homework question was, uh, instruction was, underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns in the following sentences. Now, the questions are here, question one to three, one to four, you underline the common nouns and circle the proper nouns. Number one, Uncle Musa lives by the market in Brikama. The common nouns in that sentence is market. We underline and circle the proper noun. The proper nouns are Uncle Musa and the Brikan. Two. My birthday is in March. Birthday is the common noun here, and March is the proper noun. Three, Binta lives in the Gambia. There's no common noun here. All we have are proper nouns, and that's Binta and the Gambia. For Mr. Ba goes to the mosque on Friday. Mr. Ba is a proper noun. Mosque, common noun, and Friday is also a, a proper noun. A quick recap, a quick summary of the last lesson. Common nouns are names of things or persons or animals that are common to proper nouns or other groups of nouns. In other words, proper nouns are special names that are used to refer to an individual or a thing. So they begin with capital letters and normally we don't pluralize them. They don't take the plural form. Good. We move on with our today's lesson. And uh, today we'll be proceeding with nouns, but in a different way. We will look at nouns number. When we say nouns number, we mean plural and singular. We'll come to know what that means later on. Now, first of all, let us take a look at these two pictures. We have two pictures here. The first picture and the second picture. So wherever you are, look at these two pictures and try to see the differences or the difference between them. If you ask yourself, if you ask yourselves, what is the difference between the two pictures? Now let's see. In the first picture, there is a boy, a girl, and a dog. In the second picture, you have more than one. 
One boy, more than one boy, more than one girl, more than one dog. Now, now when a noun is more than one, we add S. This is what is referred to as singular and plural nouns. Singular means one and plural means more than one. More examples of this include, for example, girl, one girl, can turn to girls. We add S. That means more than one. Boy, when we refer to one individual boy, we say boy. More than one, we add S. becomes boys. Dog, dogs. Book, books. School, schools. Pencil, pencils. Shoe, shoes. Hand, hands. Mother, mothers. Father, fathers. Brother, brothers. Sister, sisters. You can find out that all of these nouns we just add S to make the changes. And that is when the noun is more than one. We just add S. But let's go further and see whether this is what happens for all other nouns. For example, when you look at these nouns here, you can see some differences. Okay? Although generally we form plural of nouns by adding S to the singular, this is not true for all nouns. Some nouns form their plural by adding ES. Most nouns that end in S, H. Now, here we have a rule. And that's the, these are the guidelines as to how to form the plural of nouns that add ES. We say nouns that end in SH. Most of them, not all of them, but most of them. CH, X, S, and sometimes SS, and O. I repeat, nouns that end in S, most of the nouns that end in S, SH, CH, X, S, SS, and O. We add ES to form their plural. We said plural means more than one. So let's take an example of a noun, brush. Brush we use to clean. It ends with SH. So the plural becomes brushes. We add ES. Dish. Food. Becomes dishes. Wish. Wishes. Church. Churches. Torch. Torches. For example, torchlight. Coach. Coaches, fox, foxes, tax, taxes, box, boxes, bus, buses, class, classes, glass, glasses. Remember, we said words can also end like SS. Class, classes, glass, glasses, mango. Word ending with O. Mangoes. Tomato. Tomatoes. Some may wonder. You have two ways to pronounce tomato. In standard English, they would say tomato. I believe in American way, they say tomatoes. So either way, either way is, is correct. Tomato becomes tomatoes. Potato becomes potatoes. Cargo becomes cargoes. Now, this is one rule that is nouns ending with S, S, H, S, H, S, X, O, and so forth. Let's move on. There are other nouns that form their plural differently. There are some that end in F. There is a group also that end in F or even FE. Some of these nouns change F to V. And then you add the normal ES again to form their plural. They include the following. Half. 
for example, one over two, half, those doing mathematics, becomes halves, calf, calf, the young of, of, of a cow, becomes calves, wolf, wolves, leaf, leaves, leaf of a tree or plant, thief, thieves, hoof, hooves, that is the foot of a, an animal like horse, cows, and so forth. Wife, wives, knife, knives. Now, in everything, there are things that don't follow the rule. For example, okay, life becomes lives. However, there is a small group of nouns that do not follow this rule. For example, these nouns now, they belong to this group but they don't follow the same rule. They form their plurals differently. For example, chief, chief, the chief of Combo North, chief of Lower Nyomi, chief of Jokadu, uh, chief of Combo Central, chief of Sandu West, and so on and so forth. Chiefs becomes chiefs. We add just S. We don't change the F to V E. Belief. Religious belief. What do you believe in? You know, it's an abstract noun. Remember, you know, your next lesson may be on that, on nouns. It's a noun that you can't see or touch. Belief becomes beliefs. Proof becomes proofs. Roof becomes roofs. These ones do not take change F to V E S. They are as Others, but just as an example, this will do for you. Now, now you have also another group of nouns that end in Y. These nouns that end in Y, they form their plural by dropping Y and adding IES. Here are some examples. Baby ends with Y. The young child, baby, becomes babies. Lady becomes ladies. Family becomes families. Fly, insect fly. Okay, it's an insect fly. Flies. City, cities. Puppy, puppies. Body, bodies. Army, armies. Story, Stories. All these nouns end with Y. Let's see whether the same thing goes on for all the others. However, this rule, now you have nouns that end with vowels. So, sorry, that end with Y, but before the Y you have a vowel. For example, if you look at the, let's go back a little bit. If you look at baby, there is a B before Y. And this B is a consonant. We say vowels are in the alphabet A, B, A, E, I, O, U. This we call vowels in the, in, the, in, the, in the alphabet. Those of you who did phonics, you all did phonics, you will remember what vowels are. You also have consonants like B, C, D, F, and so on. So if a word ends with Y, but before the Y there is a consonant, we change the Y to I, E, S. If the word ends with Y, but before the Y, immediately before the Y, there is a vowel. Like A, E, I, O, U, and so on and so forth. We just add S. That's why you have boy, B-O-Y. There is a, an O before the Y, so we just add S. It becomes boys. We can say B-O-I-E-S. That is wrong. B O I E S. If we should follow the rule that words that end with Y, we just change the Y to I E S, this will become this. And this is wrong in English. So, therefore, this is the rule that immediately before the Y, there is a vowel, we just add S. 
day. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, day. We just add S because there is A before the Y. Monkey, monkeys. Donkey, donkeys. Valley, valleys. Way, ways. Pray, praise. Okay? Now, let's move on. Still trying to form plurals of words, of nouns, meaning more than one. Now, there are some exceptions. You know, there are some nouns, though they are a small group, that does not adhere to any of the above rules. And they are often used in our day-to-day -day English language. The most common ones include the following. Man. We all know what man is. Eh? The plural becomes men. Women. Women. Policeman. Policemen. Policewoman. Policewomen. Child, children, tooth, teeth, foot, feet, sheep, sheep, furniture, furniture. What is this? Tables, chairs, you know, we call them furniture. No S. Information, information, no S. Ox. Oxen. Now, ox is the is just a bull, huh? the cattle that we use to pull the cart. Huh? You have ox cart, donkey cart, horse cart. So that's called ox, the one we use to do farming. Okay, the male cow that we use to do farming, male cattle, is called ox. Plural is oxen. We just add e in there. Mouse. Mice. We all have mice in our homes. It's a small animal, rodent. Uh, crisis. Crisis. Okay. Oasis. Oasis. And so on and so forth. There are many more. But time won't allow us to go through all this. Now, let's look at a few exercises here. The instruction says, give the plural form of these nouns. Car, pupil, tree, shop, bottle, loss. Fox, gas, watch, loss, match, potato, dish. Hero, mosquito, motor. Cell, play, fly, family. A mixture of those that we don't, we just add S, and a mixture of those that add ES, mixture of those that change in other forms. Let's go through them one after the other. Now, cur becomes curs. Pupil becomes pupils, we just add S. Tree, trees. Shop, shops. Bottle, bottles. Loss. Losses. The shopkeeper made a loss. The businessman made a loss. Huh? If you buy something and sell it at a poor price, you make a loss in business. Those of you doing mathematics. Fox, foxes. Gas, gases. Watch, watches. Match, matches. Okay? Match can mean different differently. You have matches that we use to light fire. You have matches like football match it's in sports. Okay? We add ES. Potato, potatoes. Dish, dishes. Hero, heroes. Mosquito, mosquitoes. Moto, motors. Shell, shelves. Play, plays. Fly, flies. Family, families. 
Okay. Another activity. One. Give four rules for changing nouns in the English language from singular to plural. Four rules that you know. Two, name five words that do not follow any of these rules. Good. We have all of these in the explanations that we just did. Four, give four rules. Four rules you can remember. How do we change a noun to a plural. Let's see. Question one. The four rules are, rule one, with most nouns in English, we add S to form the plural. That is the general rule. We just add S with most of the nouns. Rule two, nouns that end in S, H, C, H, O, S, and X, we add ES to form their plural. Rule number three, nouns that end in F or FE, we change the F to V and add ES. Rule four, nouns that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ES, provided that before the Y there is a consonant. Like I said, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, and so on and so forth, different from a, E, I, O, U, vowels. So that's rule number four. And the question says, give four rules. Okay? Let's go back. Rule number one. With most nouns in English, we add S to form the plural. Two, nouns that end in S, H, C, H, O. S and X, we add ES. Nouns that end in F or FE, we change the F to V and add ES. Nouns that end in Y, we change Y to I and add ES. Provided that before the Y, there is a consonant. Question two. Five words that do not follow any of the rules. There are many, more than five, but the most common one, for example, ma, is one, the sheep. Man, the plural becomes men. It doesn't follow E, S, O, S, O, changing Y to I, E, S. Sheep, the plural is also sheep. It doesn't change at all remains the same. Ox becomes oxen. Child becomes children. And tooth becomes teeth. Let's look at this other activity. Change the following sentences from singular to plural. One, the child saw a sheep in the lorry. The child saw a sheep in the lorry. The nurse carried a baby. The man and the woman traveled by ferry. The child cut the mango with a knife. The baby laughed at the child. Let's look at the answers to these questions. The child saw a sheep in the lorry. This child saw a sheep in the lorry. What's the question? The answer becomes the children saw some sheep in the lorry. Let's go back to this question quickly. The child saw a ah, sheep. You have a there, a sheep. A in grammar means one. So when we change it to plural, we replace it with some. 
So you can see, that's why you have some sheep. A sheep becomes some sheep. Two, the nose carried a baby. Again, a baby becomes some babies. The nose becomes nurses. The nurses carried some babies. Three, the men and the women traveled by ferries. The man and the woman traveled by ferry. From Banjul to Bara, you have the kind of boat that carries a lot of people. We call it ferry. Plural ferries. The men and the women traveled by ferries. Number four, the child cut the mango, the mango with some knives, with, with a knife. That, that was the question. The child cut the mango, the child, question number four, the child cut the mango with a knife. A knife. Let's look at the answer. The children, child becomes children, cut the mangoes with some knives. Some a always changes to some. Question five. The baby laughed at the child becomes the babies laughed at the children. That brings us to the end of this lesson, today's lesson. But before we end everything, Let's take a quick review of the important steps, the important things to remember. One, when a noun is more than one, it becomes what we call, we call it, we, 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 change, we add S to the noun to make it more than one. When the noun is one, we call it singular. When it is more than one, we call it plural. Rule number one, generally we add S to nouns to form their plural. Two, nouns that end with S, H, C, H, O, X, S, and so on and so forth, we change it to, we add ES to form the plural. For example, brush, brushes. Fish can even be fishes if it is a different variety of fish put together. Okay? Church, churches, ch, and so on. Nouns that end in y, but before the y there is a consonant, we change the y to ies. Nouns that end with y, but there is a vowel before the y, we just add s. For example, day, boy, and so on and so forth. There is another rule where, another group of nouns, sorry, where they, are, they, don't, they don't follow any rule. For example, man becomes men, child becomes children, mouse becomes mice, and so on and so forth. So simply put, singular means one, and plural means more than one. And uh, before we close, uh, let's take a look at what you have to do at home as your homework. Okay, write the plural form for the underlying nouns in each sentence. It means you're going to change these sentences into plural form. For example, far to pick the bunch of keys. Far to pick the bunch of keys. Two, the bird sang on the branch of the tree. Only two questions. Until we meet again, go over them. And our next class, we will go through each of them. Thank you very much. Stay home. Stay safe. Goodbye.